Hey, good Saturday evening, everyone. Uh, Pastor Michael here with you again, and hope you all had a great day today. Um, it was a beautiful but windy um, uh, day here in our part of Minnesota, and uh, was able to get some stuff done around the house and uh, get some errands and chores done, so it was a good day uh, for uh, for us at our, our house, and I hope uh, likewise for you as well. Um, see lots of people, starting to see lots of people outside as the weather starts to get better, and that's great. Uh, yesterday was a May Day, May 1, and we had the opportunity, uh, along with the, some of the staff here at church, uh, to go around and deliver some May Day baskets to some of the members of our congregation, and that was absolutely just fun. Uh, to just stop at people's doors, um, good social distancing practiced, uh, to just drop off some goodies and a little pick-me-up. Um, and uh, as we were doing that, I had a chance to chat with people, and uh, one of the people we stopped at um, was talking about uh, these evening Vesper messages and that she appreciated them, and, and uh, she had a request. Um, and she said, would you, would you do one on and about thankfulness? Um, and it seemed like an interesting request, and it is an interesting request, that at a time of when so much, so much stuff is different and there's so much we, don't, we have that we, we feel like we shouldn't be thankful for, um, there is a lot, she reminded me, and remind, and I want to remind us, that we can be thankful and grateful for. Um, as we continue to look at all of the things that, um, that are happening that we wouldn't choose, uh, there are a number of things that are happening that we can be grateful for as well, and I am. Um, and uh, that's a mark. Thankfulness, gratitude, is a mark of the Christian life, the Christian faith, and the Christian walk. Um, and uh, I hope um, that you will um, be thankful people. And Scripture um, encourages us to be thankful. But it's interesting, it encourages us to be thankful not for all things. Um, for example, we should not necessarily be thankful for a COVID-19 or coronavirus pandemic. Um, uh, but we can be thankful in all things, in all situations and circumstances. We can be thankful. And uh, there are lots of places in Scripture that talk about the importance of being thankful and looking for that which we can give God thanks for. And uh, one of my favorites is actually in Colossians chapter 3. Uh, Paul is talking to the Colossian church about what it means to be um, in relationship with each other and in relationship with Jesus Christ and, uh, and, and how those two things relate. And then he gets to Colossians 3, verses fi verse 15, and he says this, he says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful, he says. And so all of that peace of Christ that we come from knowing Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior should cause us to be thankful for that which we have in Christ. Um, and, and then he jumps down, jumping down to verse 17, he says, And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And so give, again, being, not being thankful for everything, but being thankful in everything, that in every situation and circumstance, whatever we do and however we find ourselves, we can give thanks to um, God for that which we have received in Jesus Christ. And uh, so I hope you'll find, even in this time, and uh, especially as spring rolls around here, lots of things to be thankful and grateful for, and uh, what that can do to our attitudes uh, when we possess and uh, have an attitude of gratitude, as we sometimes say, and what that can do for us um, just mentally as well, as well as spiritually. So I hope that you will find uh, lots of ways tonight and a good encouragement to you to be thankful um, in the midst of, of all of this. And to help you do that, I want to give you the Lord's blessing. And so on the Saturday night, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you his thank-filled peace. Amen. Good night and God bless you.